This is part three of a tutorial on making a sports car. In this part, we put all the parts of the car together, starting with the body of the car. Change the view to the right view. Click the plus to open up the properties panel. Scroll down and move the background image so that it is roughly behind the car. Drag to close the properties panel. File append. Go to the folder where you have the top of the car, select the file, go into the object folder, select the car top and append. Turn the 3D manipulator widget on and move the top up and back. Drag on the white diagonal lines to open up a new window and drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Change the shading in the bottom window to wireframe. Use the tip of the blue arrow to move the top down and use the tip of the green arrow to move the top forwards and backwards until you're happy with the way they merge. Drag on the diagonal lines to close the bottom window. I'm going to set up simple materials for the car. Click the material button. Click the browse material button and we have two default materials already created. Click the top of the car and I'm going to rename one of the materials car. I'm going to use the cycles render. Click the use nodes button, click the color and set the red to 0.5, the green to 0 and the blue to 0. Give us a dark red and change the shading to material. Go into edit mode, zoom in with the mouse wheel Go into face select mode, select a glass face, hold down shift and select all the glass faces. Release shift, drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, hold down shift. Click the add new material slot button. Click the browse material button and select the other default material. Rename it glass. Click the use nodes button, click the color. I'm going to set the red to 0, the green to 0.3, and the blue to 0.3. Assign the material to the selected faces. Go into object mode, select the body, select the browse material button, and set the color to the car. To add wheels, in the outliner window, click the eye icon to hide the car body and the car top. Add Mesh Cylinder. Click the Object button and set the Z scale to be 0.5. With the cursor in the 3D window, press S to scale 0.6 and enter. Set the Y rotation to be 90 and temporarily the X location to be 2. And in the Object menu, Apply Scale and Rotation. Click the material button, add a new material, call the new material wheel. Click the color, click the HSV button and set the value to a dark gray 0 0.01, enter. Click the eye icons to unhide the car body and the car top. In the view menu, toggle quad view. Roughly place the wheel using the tips of the arrows. Pan, shift and middle mouse button and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Carry on placing the wheel using the tips of the arrows. Click the object button, delete all but two decimal places of each location and use the arrows to fine tune the position. Name the wheel Tire FP, front passenger, especially named for use in the game engine later. To duplicate the wheel, 
shift D and enter and put a minus sign in front of the X location of the duplicate select the original wheel shift D and enter zoom back with the mouse wheel I'm going to use the tip of the green arrow to move the duplicate back pan shift a middle mouse button zoom in with the mouse wheel and you delete all but two decimal places of the Y location and use the arrows to fine-tune its position shift D and enter to duplicate and put a minus sign in front of the X location of the duplicate in the view menu toggle quad view zoom back with the mouse wheel now I notice there's a bit of a gap between the top of the car and the body select the top of the car and use the tip of the blue arrow to remove that Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and zoom back and now we have all the parts of the car. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the finished file and lots of intermediate files for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.